Are you, and you're still working with Logan now? Yeah, I've, I've from the beginning. I've been with him from the very so, beginning. So you're the guy that we have to thank for the incredible matches he's been putting on. Ah, well, he's he's the guy. He's the guy. <laughs> he's still, you know, no matter what, you know, Belichick can make the play, but Tom Brady has to do it. Sure. You know, so uh, no matter what, yeah, I got to give uh, Logan all the credit in the world. He works so hard. He's a hustler. He works hard as hell. And, you know, I'm just the guy kind of training him behind the scenes. Yeah. But, yeah, behind the scenes, yes, I'm the guy. During the press conference right after WrestleMania, Triple H is like, I've said it before, I'll say it again. That guy has no business being as good as he is True. right now. True. Yeah, yeah and, to, and you got a guy like Triple H that sees that. And, and even before, you know, uh, you know, Vince kind of saw something in there, too. You know, it's like, this is what you need to be doing. You know, forget all the other stuff. Yeah. But, of course, Logan has a ton of uh, other stuff that he's doing, so can't really forget but, everything, but... There's so many things that he does, though. Like, it's not just, and you know this better than anybody, it's not just the moves. Mm -hmm. It's the facials. It's the selling. It's the timing. Mm -hmm. He seems to be nailing everything. Yeah, well, I mean, if you know his history, he's been a performer since he was very young. So uh, I knew the guy from Vine. You know, I'm a, I'm a social media wow. guru and pioneer myself. So yeah. I, was on, I, I was on everything at, some, at one point or another. So I knew him from Vine. And so it kind of just kind of worked out that I happened to be the producer chosen uh, you know, to, to work with him. It kind of it just fit. Do you think the Hurricane at some point might, you know, work his way into a Logan Paul match? I think the Hurricane would have to fit in his co costume first, and then <laughs> we're not quite there at the moment. <laughs> is this black? Is this yeah, like, It's very slimming. I it's very so. slimming. And the, the so. slimming Crocs you've got on here, too? you got to rock out with your Crocs out, man. That's how I live. <laughs> well, I think that it, at least right now as we sit here, if Logan Paul's one of those things on your resume and the matches that he's had, mm -hmm. I mean, it's a testament to both of your you know, work and also his opponents. But that's uh, there's a lot of eyes on what he's doing. And him along with you, you guys are knocking out of the park every time. Yeah, man. He's of anybody I've ever trained, coached, you know, mentored in, in the business. He's he's been the easiest. Wow. You know, and maybe because he doesn't have this background of previous coaches and, and previous people in, in this business, at least. So, you know, I, I got this clean slate. But it's really like, hey, I think you can do this, and can you do this? And then he'll get inspired, and he'll start finding clips, and then he'll send me clips of him doing whatever off the top rope. And it's like, hey, what about this? Like, oh, we're definitely going to do that. You know, he's a, I mean, he's a, he's a firecracker, and it's just, it's been a real pleasure. It's been a challenge for sure, you know, because there's a lot of money invested. <laughs> you know, <laughs> sure. So you want to, you want to, you want to give, you want to produce what the company wants from you, you know, for sure. So it's been challenging, but it, it's been it's been so much fun. I feel like he's kind of like the new Shane McMahon, where mm. he he's going to give you a high spot, and that's going to be the memorable moment. And you may not remember six months from now or a year from now who won that match, but you will remember when he jumped off the top rope and went through the announce table, or you will remember when him and Ricochet met in the, met in the middle of the Royal Rumble. You'll remember those moments. Yeah, and I'm glad it ended up being, and every match with him has been different, you know, and so I'm, Very, I'm really, yeah. I'm really proud, proud of that too, you know, showing the different uh, layers uh, of, of what he can do athletically. And so this one's going to be different too, you know, for the first time he's going to be the bigger, you know, bigger, stronger guy with a mm -hmm. guy that can, I mean, Ricochet's the best high flyer in the world, you know, yeah. and, and if he's not the best and he's in the conversation, you know, there's a couple other people that are in the conversation, but he's definitely in there and. You know, as far as what I see on television on a week-to-week -week basis, nobody nobody's doing it as consistently good as Ricochet. Yeah. So, um, so I, I think it's going to be pretty good. I want I want to see more. I don't, but I don't want just that either. Yeah. You know, I don't want just you know lock up, flip, lock up, flip, lock up, flip. I like I actually like a story. You know, mm. like what we did with Roman and Logan. Like I was very proud of that match. I thought that match was was super mm. was super well done.